Welcome to Yoga Body Burn. Now it's time to begin our yoga practice together. Beginning in mountain pose, standing up nice and tall. Think good posture. Abdominal muscles are up and lifted, tailbones down. Relax your shoulders and your arms and legs are activated. Let's take a deep cleansing breath together. Bring in the oxygen through the nose and exhale it out, right out the nose. Good, again, inhale up and exhale. Nourish your body, wonderful. Now bring your arms all the way up to temple hands. Stretch up nice and tall and lean to the side. Open up your side body. Lift up into the other side. Wonderful stretch and lean all the way up now and do a nice stretch for your back. Slight back extension and release. And now slowly bend sideways. We're gonna drop one arm, bring it around for a yoga bind and lift your chest up and keep your feet rooted into the floor. Great, and lift up and let's go to the other side. Stretch that body and release the arm. Bring it around for a good stretch. Now open up the chest, open up your heart, feel it, push your heels through to the ground and release. Come all the way up and relax. And let's begin with the sun breath. Taking a nice deep breath, inhale up. Now we're gonna bend the knees, hinge at the hips, dive forward, reach your hands to the floor and release. Keeping the chest close to those thighs, straightening out your legs just a little bit. And now extend the spine, an active back stretch, holding your hands near your shins. Relax the shoulders and chest up. And now drop yourself down, fold down, and slowly come all the way up to mountain pose. And release. And let's do a nice pose. Just reach the one arm up and one leg. That's it. And to the other side. Lift up. Now starting in a little balanced position. That's it. Good. Taking it a step further, let's twist a little. Great for spinal rotation. Twist your head, that's it. Good, let's try it again on the other side. Lift up, it's all about centering here. Exhale, center that body. Wonderful, and release. Now we're gonna do what's called a modified sun salutation. Begin, inhale up, and dive down just like the sun breath, keeping those knees slightly bent to protect your back and active back extension and reach your hands to the floor and step your left leg back. Hold the position in a low lunge. Now bring your hands to your thighs, that's it. And if you can, take it to the next level, all the way up, full body reach, extend. Feeling it through your hips, your ankles, so good for you. Now, if you're ready, tuck that toe under and go all the way up to high lunge. Crescent pose, strong, you're proud. Keep those legs nice and firm. And slowly bring your hands down to the floor. Lift yourself up in high plank. Take your knees down, take your chin down, your chest, and come up to low cobra. Hold this position. Lift up your hands, that's it. Squeeze the buttocks. It's all about getting the shoulders to drop. That's it, opening up your chest, your throat. And now slowly use your arms to push yourself up. And now curl your toes under our first down dog. Oh, how do you feel? Your goal is to get your tailbone up. Keep your knees slightly bent right now. We'll progress and slowly push your hands through to the ground. That's it, tailbone up like a V. And now slowly bring your left leg through and low lunge. Let me see that smiling face, wonderful. Stretching through the ankles, through the hips. And now slowly bring your hands on your thighs. That's it. And hands all the way up if you can. Full body reach, extend through the spine. And now if you can, curl your toe under and go all the way up to crescent pose. High lunge, you're strong, lift, that's it. Great, and slowly dive down. Bring your legs together and stand up to mountain pose, wonderful. And sun salutation, let's begin by a nice deep breath, inhale, full complete sequence. Exhale down, inhale back extension, exhale down. Take your left leg behind you and now hold yourself in high plank, chaturanga. Lower yourself down and push up to up dog taking it to the next step. 
That's it. And now slowly curl your toes under. Push yourself all the way to down dog. Heels trying to reach towards the ground. Tailbone up. Reach your hands away from your shoulders. Shoulders away from your ears. Great. And now slowly bring your left leg through and slowly stand straight up to mountain pose. Now we're building some heat through the body for our body burn. Legs apart. We're now gonna begin some of our foundation stretches and powerful moves. You're gonna turn to your fingers and your toes all the way to the side. Now you're gonna bend that front knee. Take it deep into warrior. Stretch your arms from both sides. Relax your shoulders down. Make sure this knee's open, that's it. Push the back of the foot down into the floor, that's it. Let's reverse that warrior, just lift up. Now lift your chest up as you get a little deeper into the stretch. You're showing strength as well as flexibility. And slowly to the side, to side angle pose. Really reach out, that's it. Can you hold the position? This is a great posture. And now slowly bring that hand down, reach it towards your toes, and open up the chest and get deeper into the stretch. Great for the hips, wonderful. And slowly now, straighten through the leg, come all the way up. Now let's begin triangle. You're gonna shift your hips, and you're really gonna shift out, that's it. Stretch out from both sides, and then fold down, but still be lifting through the chest. Open up that heart central. Hold it, open it up. Wonderful, you're like a living structure. Hold it up, strong legs. Think about the thighs, lift them up, away from your knee, and now slowly come up. Great, let's switch toes, and slowly into a warrior pose. Hold that pose, you're strong. Relax your shoulders, that's it. That's great, strong arms, strong legs. A great position to really strengthen and build heat through the body. And reverse the warrior, stretch it. It's like a natural body tug of war. You're lifting up through the body and your lower body's stretching down. So you're really getting that extra stretch. Wonderful sensation. And slowly reach your body all the way out to side angle pose. Reach out, stretch, that's it. Your legs are really activated. Push that back heel flat, as well as the outside of your foot. Let's hold it out here, hold. Great strength of the core muscles. And now slowly place your hand near your foot. Open up, I like to use my elbow here to press that knee open, so I really get an extra stretch in the inner thigh. Hold it up there nice and strong. Slowly come all the way up all the way up. Straighten out the legs for triangle. Lift through the rib cage and lean and shift out and then fold down. Open up the chest. It's all about opening up the chest. Pelvis is forward, opening up through the hips. You could even use your waist to open yourself up. That's it. Hold. Remember those thighs. Activate the thigh muscle. The quadricep is lifted. And now slowly come all the way up. That's it, bring your feet together, heel, toe, and jump together. And now let's go into chair pose, all the way down, and lift it back up. Let's go a little higher with the arms, more diagonal, strong, you're reaching from all ends, from your fingertips all the way through the heels. Now really stretch, really reach out. Scoop under those abs, lift up. That's it, sit lower. Your weight is through the heels, chair, that's it, lift up, and let's revolve. Bringing your legs together, keep them together. We're gonna twist, and to the other side. Lift up first, inhale, and fold, and exhale and twist. Great, inhale up, and exhale down. And to the other side, lift, and now hold it right here, hold it right here. Now, get yourself a nice position to really rotate. That's it, great spinal twist. Now open up if you can. That's it, get deeper into the stretch. Inhale and exhale. It's a great position, it's a great pose. And lift up, hands come together. Lift up and let's go to the other side. 
revolve to the side in chair position. Now as you're trying to get your elbow up and trying to get your hands in prayer position, right by your center of your chest, the sternum, that's your goal. Progress, that's it, and slowly release and open up and bring your hands together, shoot up using the strength of your legs and release and seal the pose. We're moving into our vinyasa now, slowly taking a nice deep breath, just like a sun salutation. Dive forward, feel the reach, active back extension, and release. Now take your legs back into chaturanga, take it down, lower yourself, push yourself through to up dog, curl your toes, and to down dog, and feel the stretch, feel it. And now slowly lift your left leg up, into splits, split the leg. Now bend the knee, flex the foot, and open yourself up and look under your arm. Feel that hip opening up. Oh, I love it. And straighten up the leg, and bring that leg all the way through between your hands, and stand up nice and tall to warrior one, keeping that back heel down, and slowly come down. You're doing great. And now chaturanga, take it all the way down. Push yourself through and slowly push yourself up to dog. Great. And now slowly lift your right leg up to splits. Oh, doesn't that feel great? Now bend the knee, flex your foot and open up and look through your arms. That's it. And now straighten that leg up and bring it right through to your hands. Stand up nice and tall to warrior one and take it back down. Chaturanga, stay strong, stay nice and firm, and up to down dog. Now slowly look at your hands, bend your knees, and we're gonna spring forward and come all the way up. Seal the pose. Let's pick up the pace for our next vinyasa. Sit back into chair pose, hold the position, hold, and dive down, forward bend, and active back extension, release. Relax your back leg behind you and hold to a beautiful chaturanga. Take it down, push up to up dog, and curl your toes under to down dog. Let's bring the left leg through to the hand, all the way up to warrior one, and out to warrior two. And let's stretch to side angle, to reverse, and again, now flow. That's what is all about, synchronizing your breath, with your movement and hold all the way to a stretch. Reverse the warrior and hands down, cartwheel your hands down and chaturanga, push up dog and through to downward facing dog. Let's bring your right leg through and slowly stand up to warrior one, right out to warrior two and side angle to reverse warrior and really let it flow. Reach out, get lower with each one, feeling your very best. That's it, strong bodies. Okay, and we hold the last one. Reverse warrior, and cartwheel your hands down. We're now generating heat. And chaturanga, push up, up dog. Curl your toes under, push to downward facing dog. Look at your fingertips, bend your knees, and spring forward, standing nice and tall in the chair pose. And now let's begin, starting with our next vinyasa. Taking a deep breath, inhale. We're now getting our yoga body burn and reach active back extension and reach the left leg behind you. Hold it up to plank and down to chaturanga. Up dog and curl your toes under to downward facing dog. Now split, lift your left leg all the way high. Bring it all the way through to crescent pose. Lift up to revolve, twist. Lift all the way up, shoot your arms up and dive down. Bring that leg right behind you into splits and slowly bring it down to chaturanga. With one leg if you can, it's a little challenging. And then place both feet down. Curl your toes under and down dog. Lift your right leg up to splits. Bring the leg all the way through. Lift your body all the way up to crescent pose. Twist to revolve. Stretch all the way back up. Lift up, dive forward. 
bring that leg all the way behind you to split and chaturanga. Only if you can, try it with one leg. Push all the way up, curl your toes under to downward facing dog. Look at your fingertips, use your legs, spring forward and slowly stand all the way up to mountain pose. Don't you feel great? The effects of yoga energizes the body. Okay, legs out. Let's begin starting a nice deep lunge and to the other side. Keep the flow going. Lift up and over. Abdominal muscles lifted. Get deeper into the prayer, into the pose. And one last one. Stay right here. Drop your arms down. Lift them all the way up. Gather yourself and let's begin warrior three. Balancing stick. Lift the leg behind you. It's really stretching, Tony. Straight legs and slowly lift up and release. Take it all the way down to a lunge. Switch to the other side and reach your arms all the way up. Come all the way up. Are you ready? Go down all the way to balancing stick. Warrior three. You're strong. Your abs are lifted. Your abdominal muscles. Your back is strong. It's straight invigorating. Refresh your body by yoga. Lift all the way up and relax. Legs apart. Bring your hands to prayer. Sit back. That's it. You could stay right here with your elbows right here or if you really want to get a little more flexible and if your flexibility allows, go ahead and hold yourself upright and sit deeper into the stretch. Placing your hands right here. I like to use my elbows to push my legs open a little wider. And then lift your pelvic floor muscles. Lift them up, that's it. And release. Placing your hands down to the floor, bring your tippy toes together a little more. We're now gonna begin crow pose. Place those hands, shift your body weight slightly forward, lift one leg at a time, give it a try, and hold the pose. Lift those abdominal muscles. Hold, 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 strong bodies. And slowly release. And release your wrists, your shoulders. Let's try it again. How'd you do? I hope you did well. Okay, place those hands down. Again, bring your feet a little more together. Lift it high. If you want, just keep your feet down to the floor and modify. Do what you can. This is a very challenging move. Crow. And slowly come back down. Bringing both feet together, relax your shoulders and stand all the way tall and seal the pose. Let's try eagle pose. Bringing your right arm underneath, bringing your right leg around and wrap and bind. And now hold for eagle. If you can, hold your leg, wrap it around. If not, place that foot right down in front of you. That's okay. It's all about opening up your back. Excellent, power, strong, and release. And let's go to the other side. Lift the left arm underneath and the left leg around and hold. Drop a little lower to eagle pose. It's strong, graceful, powerful. That you are. You improve your circulation and release. Inhale all the way up and exhale down. And now pose of the dancer. Hold your hand out, reach your foot behind you, stretch your arms straight out. This is a wonderful balancing pose. You're using your flexibility, your strength, and your balance all at once. Breathe deeply, center yourself. Remember about focusing gently on a point in front of you and release. Let's try it on the other side. Hold open your hand, bring it underneath, and hold. Getting the energy to flow through your body. That's it. Lift the leg behind you. It's really a tug of war. You're pushing your foot against your hand, and your hand against your foot, and hold, and hold. And now slowly stand up nice and tall, taking a deep cleansing breath. Inhale all the way up, and exhale. Feel the awareness of yoga. Inhale, the beautiful effects. Observe and discover the beautiful part of yoga. Namaste.